Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. As you can tell from the stuff, uh, Halloween is around the corner. Because <laughs> everything is all dressed, well, not exactly spooky. Uh, it's an adorable Pokemon game. You can't expect things to look too frightening if not the kids won't play. <laughs> um, but, okay, first off, we have a brand new raid event, like I mentioned in the last video. So, um, ever since this event has started a few days ago, as of today that I'm recording, um, it's been five days since the event started. So, hopefully you guys have been grinding away and helping your teammates to obtain Mimikyu along with your own self. Um, and of course, there are now brand new orders, and of course, um, Beware is one of the Pokemon that you can attain um, for your cafe. Uh, of course, the order has now risen to 500, that, which makes us... Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, we get the introduction of Mimikyu here. Lonely Mimikyu appears. Oh. <laughs> Look, we are done decorating over here, I think. Uh, we're ready for Halloween. Eevee, Eevee. Eevee, thanks for the help. We're so excited about Halloween, aren't we? See. Does M Mimikyu actually make that noise? I don't think it is. Oh well. Uh, oh, Pikachu? But when? Hmm. It looks like Pikachu, but something about it is different from other Pikachu. See me? See me? V? <laughs> Whoa! You are Mimikyu! What are you doing sitting in front of the cafe? You seem a little down. How do you know that it's looking down? It looks pretty cheerful to me. <laughs> Mimikyu seems kind of lonely. I have an idea. Why don't we work together to offer Mimikyu a good time at the cafe? I bet it will make Mimikyu happy. Oh, the staff all agree. Yay, everybody's on board. Let's all chip in to make Mimikyu happy. Alright, so here we go. Our next raid event, which is Mimikyu. I'm gonna stuff his um, bottomless pet body with food. Okay, so you can collect lots of stars as a team and have Mimikyu join the star. So hopefully you guys have been grinding away. Um, I don't know if my team has been doing um, hard at work as compared to the Snorlax event. So the cafe has been dressed up to look like Halloween or rather it's only the main lobby. <laughs> or the main portion of the cafe that's actually dressed up like Halloween. Hmm. Okay, let's claim our rewards first before we start grinding away. 17th place, not too bad for someone who hasn't been touching this account. Okay. Alright, let's see how far the team has. Ooh, the team has been grinding quite a bit, but not as much as my Nintendo Switch team. Alright, so we're gonna go help them out in a while. First thing first, let's do the invitational party. Alright, let's get Lucario in. Lucario is so hard to come by. We definitely need to get more stars for him. Alright, Squirtle. Let's go! Oh, two icons only? Seriously? Okay, let's power up Squirtle's skill with his own icon. Um, let's try and push the... Tomatoes towards right side because that's where the basket is. Right. Okay, so let's push the tomatoes as close as we can. There we go. Alright, in all you know. Okay, all the tomatoes are in. So let's just clear the popcorn. At the same time, clean veggies from the crates. Fantastic. So, even though we have the skills there, I think covering the 
vegetable crates with the icons is still essential right now. Um, okay, we're gonna use the skill to destroy a popcorn channel. Let's gather lots of veggies. Okay, we do have um, one popcorn remaining, so maybe let's gather the icons and push the popcorn further here so we can use the skill to destroy and gather a whole bunch of veggies at the same time. There we go, simple as that. So even the dishes are starting to look a bit more Halloween themed, so that's pretty nice. It actually looks pretty cute, and I mean good as well. Can you imagine if like the whole coating on top with the Mimikyu head is actually cheese? Oh god, I'm drooling for my own commentary. <laughs> Okay, so if we can gather all the pumpkins together, um, that would be so much easier. And the problem here is the yeah the honey, the honey is blocking the way, so that's really a problem. Okay, there we go. Let's clear as much of the honey as possible before we start destroying the pumpkins. Apparently, oh, the honey actually destroyed the pumpkin for us, so that's handy. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Hopefully the megaphone that summoned out destroys a few pumpkins. Yeah, we did destroy a few. Not a lot, but still. Any help is appreciated. Okay. Um, so maybe let's push the pumpkins here, so we can target them all easily. Oh, come on. Okay, um, yeah, okay, we can cover all four. So let's use another megaphone to destroy the two. Oh god! Oh, that's not good. Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna fail. Oh, come on. So since this is the second stage, we have no choice but to use the 900 refresh. Um, mainly because if we quit now, we're gonna lose the 4 stars that the Pokemon are gonna gain. So we have no choice. Let's just toss in the 900 Acorn and just clear it with the skill. Oh, was really unfortunate that the, the pumpkin actually shifted. Still a long way for Lucario to reach level 3, but that's okay. Alright, so let's get on with the regular... Oh, we still have <laughs> Hetram still in the queue, so I guess we still can gather some stars for him for the last time. 80,000 score. Lots of eggs. Okay, we do need megaphone skills. So luckily, we don't have to use a specific Pokemon. So we can just freely use Stockland skill. There we go. Do we need to power up? No, we don't. Okay, hopefully the megaphone destroys the sugar cube to the side. Oh, come on. Okay, there yeah, are a lot of Pikachus, so let's clear the Pikachus and clear the sugar cubes at the corners. Right, okay, let's do this. Same thing as we did on the right side. Oh, what's with the luck in the megaphone's directions? So one more sugar cube to go. We do need quite a bit of score though. Alright, the eggs are done. So we do need megaphones. So let's just power up Startland skill. 
can um, maybe gather the megaphones that are currently on board and destroy them all together. There we go. Simple and clean. enough stars to unlock Mimikyu's first gift or reward. Yes we do. There we go. How many more stars do we need for the next one? Oh, we went straight to level 2. Okay. Any more? Level 3. It's nice to see that the um, at least the phone game version is still actively having players because the Nintendo Switch one really relies on me to grind to unlock Mimikyu so a lot more players on the phone rather than the Nintendo Switch but that's okay because I have Really little chance to play this on my phone uh, since I'm using this account to do video recording. So at least I get to spam play on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Alright, so Meow skill does destroy things towards the left. Um, so let's just use this chance to power up the skill and if we can bring all the pumpkin down. So we can gather them all together and have Meow's skill just destroy the whole bunch together. Okay. Um, right, let's clear away all the. Push them all together. Alright, so let's try to do this. Okay, things are looking decent, I think. Alright, let's push this all together. There we go. Okay, so if we can gather the popcorns together, we should be fine. One more. Down. Okay, so here we go. Let's get all together. And we're done. Suppose that. So yeah, um just gather the pumpkins together and you're good. Don't leave them hanging on the side of the wall. Yes, that's just gonna waste a lot of moves. Because Meow's skill doesn't reach that far. But right bubble saw. We still need quite a bit of stars. To unlock the next reward. Okay, let's keep going. Gotta do our part as well. Mm. Okay, so Bubble Saw skill destroys things in an X format. So, if I guess fan artists who want to draw fan art for Bubble Saw can make him into a X man. <laughs> oh no, not enough. Let's go with Squirtle. Don't want to waste bubble sauce icon. Hmm. Can we do it like this? There we go. Alright, so the milk canisters are down there. Let's just push them in. Alright, we've got to release the fruit cans as well from the captivity of olive oil cutting. All the way in. Yes, the way. Alright, so with all the mid patterns cleared, there's a lot of um, Squirtle on the board, so maybe let's just change the majority to Squirtle so we can get that combo 30 going. Alright, let's clear all the Squirtle off the board so we can have more bubble saw up here. 
Since they're about to choose, let's destroy a whole bunch of bubble saws. There we go. Hopefully this is enough to do a 30 chain. Yep, more than enough. Okay, we're done. Simple as that. Alright, we got the next reward unlocked. Let's go claim it. Stars. Let's do this. Oh, executor. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna pay attention to the marshmallows. <clears throat> My voice is cracking. <laughs> okay, let's spread them out. Oh no, what have I done? Okay. There we go. Double Oh no, I'm stuck. Okay, whatever. Alright, so. Okay. Let's get the marshmallows and the chocolates. There we go, so we've got a bit more room for icons. Chocolate there. Um, let's charge up again. Okay, one more time. All right, now that we have space for the icon to go in, um, let's just destroy chocolate first. Because the marshmallows are not uh, vulnerable right now. Right. Okay. Uh, maybe let's power it up to give a bit of a Oh! I just realized we are on the last. Oh. That's such a waste. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this. Because <laughs> we can afford to. Uh, but of course, if you're trying to save acorns. You can always just redo the level if you have hearts. Yeah. Because 900 acorns aren't easy to earn. But for video, video length purposes, we're gonna be a bit wasteful. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Jiggly Puff. Ninety-five thousand. Okay, we do gotta be um, cautious with the olives plus that link thirty combo requirement. Okay, so let's get some whipped creams out as well. There we go. Um, let's destroy the olives. Okay. Here is that um, the whipped creams are taking a bit of space. So we have to clear them as fast as we can. So we can change the majority of the icons to um, the common one. Okay. There we go. Destroying two whipped creams. And of course changing a few icons along the way. Alright, we got our chain 30. Now it's just the whipped creams. Oh god. No, 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 no. This is not looking good. Okay. So, let's see if we can target more of them. Yes, thank goodness. Oh, I was in a pinch right there. We only had one move left. Luckily, the whipped creams were kind of aligned. So, you gotta be very careful with this level. Alright. 
regular Pikachu. We don't have the one that is uh, purchasable with real life money. 70,000! Okay, so there's a sugar cube that's blocking, um, or rather a whole bunch of sugar cubes blocking the bo um, both baskets. So we're gonna have to set the baskets free. But at the same time, um, we have to pay attention to the popcorns. Pikachu skill does destroy things around the icon. This is gonna help greatly. Okay. Here we go. Um maybe let's focus on the popcorns now. Since majority of them are like almost destroyed <laughs> okay um so we don't want to destroy the sugar cube um oh no don't target the one that is there because we want it to hold the tomato oh god oh no no should i take a risk and just destroy it Oh no. Oh no. How am I gonna get it in? How am I gonna get it in? Can I drag my tomato in? No! This is bad. This is bad. Can I boop, boop the tomato in? Boop. Oh! So, using a 900 acorn retry here is not worthwhile. Because it's gonna be a struggle. To get the tomato in so we're gonna retry the level and we're gonna try and avoid <laughs> destroying that sugar cube okay so if we do get a megaphone um that destroys sideways i think that would be beneficial okay let's go Pikachu. there we go Oh, that's not the megaphone that we want. Okay, we got all the sugar cubes and the two kernels. Okay. Right, we do have to pay attention to the tomato that's here. Because this is a problem. Oh, we do have a megaphone that's destroying sideways now. Okay, that's fantastic. So we're gonna do this. Uh, uh -oh. Okay, that did not help at all. Okay, can we push the tomato in? Yes, we can. There we go. So, not touching this sugar too. Let's use this chance to... Oh god! No! Oh no. Okay, since we already have the tomato drop down, we're gonna risk it. Okay, tomato, come on, come on, tomato. Oh, in, yes, and now the popcorn. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> so, pay close attention to this level. You're gonna be struggling with it. Hopefully, you don't end up like me very close to not making it. Okay, we got the next reward unlocked. Ooh, Audino! She looks so happy. Okay, we're gonna get the reward first. More acorns. Nice. Alright, we need three more stars for the next reward. Let's go. Okay. Oh, we haven't gotten Audino to join the crew yet. So, let's work hard to do so. Okay, let's pay attention to the caramels that needs destroying. And of course, the honey. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
it. Go. Um, let's get rid of the caramels here first. skill out on this side. There we go. Combine both of them. And then destroy all the honey. So once the honey is cleared, we can fully get our vegetable. Score as well. Let's try our best. Yes! We cleared it with two moves remaining. Our usual trend. And that wonderful tree star that we require to unlock the next gift. And a uh, uh, step closer to getting Ordino. Alright, let's claim our reward. Oh! It seems we are finally at the level to help the team. So let's see. Level 8 is... Oh, they've shifted it to level 9. Ooh. So unlike Snorlax, you will gain Snorlax at level 8. But now Mimikyu is a, a requirement to be at level 9 to unlock Mimikyu. I guess they realise that people stop playing <laughs> after they unlock the event Pokemon. Well, unless you're the hardcore kind of player that wants to level the main event Pokemon using its cupcakes. Okay, let's get a lot of Starly. Um, okay, it seems like we need to destroy the cans to make way for more um, icons. So let's just do that. We can really destroy all the pumpkins um, once everything is at the bottom, I guess. It'll be a lot easier. There we go. We don't really have to level up Starry skill. And of course, if the pumpkins get hit, it's a bonus. There we go. And of course, pay attention to the megaphone requirements as well. Oh, that totally missed. That's fine. Uh, let's get rid of Lucario. Alright, at the same time, let's push all the pumpkins together. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, a megaphone is summoned out in the direction that. Oh, come on. Okay, since we just need to destroy the pumpkin, let's clear it with a megaphone. Fantastic. Okay. So, this just came into my mind. Did we handle heat? Petrum, because I don't recall seeing him after the first stage, or maybe it's just me. I'm getting old. <laughs> My memories are foggy. Okay, so we got to release the chocolates. Um, so let's just spread out as much as we can. Maybe, I don't know. Um, let's use the megaphone to clear the whipped cream and um, the chocolates. Okay, let's use this, yes, like this. Clear as much as we can. Alright, so once we've gotten our Togepi icons, we can start powering up for another skill. Alright, at the same time, let's get rid of as many Miami bubbles as we can. It's really annoying to destroy. Okay, let's get out the snubbles. Here we go. Let's destroy more bubbles. 
Gotta pay attention to the 30 chain requirement as well. There we go, we got our 30 chain just like that. Um, okay, we do need to bring the canister down. So let's do that. Alright, we're done with the canisters. Now just the chocolates. this and you use the megaphone to destroy the other one and we're done so we used up all the moves though so gotta be careful with this level oh we are on our 10th level i think we can push a bit more after all this Currently 500 stages, and we are s slowly getting left behind once again, which is horrible. Okay, so what about that skill does summon megaphones, but the skill icon doesn't destroy anything unlike Starly. So let's do this. Get a whole bunch. Let's defrost a whole bunch of. Um, Olives first. Okay. So let's do this. Summon a whole bunch of icons. Okay. That's fine. Alright. So the problem here is that um, we have to destroy the bubblegum icons. Contain marshmallows though. So that is really annoying because the marshmallows do you know sometimes take a turn to light up. Okay. Alright, so let's just defrost all the marshmallows first. Okay, so I think the main thing here right now is to clear all the marshmallows. There is one that is coated olive oil. So that's a problem. Um, let's clear. Oh no. I just realized there's one more that's still only cased. Okay, let's get a whole bunch of megaphones. Hopefully, this helps with clearing the megaphone. Oh, it darkened out again. So we do need score, so let's gather a lot of icons to get a score first. There we go. Let's not risk it with our bucket skill and just go with a regu regular megaphone. So be careful, because Wabba Fat is very random. So if you can clear the stage with a guaranteed thing, please do it that way. Nope, oh, seems like we've got something coming up. Are we getting a new item? Yes, we are! Coffee grinder. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Hot latte is tasty, but why don't we try making a refreshing iced coffee? Indeed, we should. Look at how Starbucks is doing so well. <laughs> By selling drinks that don't taste like coffee. <laughs> okay, Charmander. So, this is a brand new item, so this stage will be very easy. Ooh. Coffee ice cubes can only be cleared with skills or megaphones. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Let's power up with all the Charmander icons. Let's get our first skill. We do need a second one though. So hopefully they give us a lot of Arduino icons so we can get a second skill icon going. There you go. And once we got this, let's try to target for a tree roll. Oh! I missed the chance for a tree roll. Oh, that's such a waste. That's fine. Okay. 
right, here we go. I think we have enough Charmander icons to get the scale up. Yep. Okay. Make sure to target all of them. It's so annoying. Okay, let's gather all the blossoms and clear the level. So, if you can get the tree row, you will earn a lot more acorns. You definitely won't fail the level. They give you enough moves to actually pass the stage. If you fail it, I have no idea what you are doing. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, let's move on. Here we are. Oh, Audino is up again. Let's get more stars to have her join our start. Ooh. Okay. Um, I guess let's just clear the caramels for now. There we go. Let's get the easy icons. This one single lone caramel is annoying! Oh no. Okay. Um, seems like we can get all of them. Uh, let's just unlock them the majority. Go. Um, let's go Kula. Yep. Let's unlock these coffee cubes. Okay. So we can just go for all the caramels together. earlier so if you do things well enough you should be fine i should have powered up the skill icon to destroy the uh, the coffee cubes on the right hand side of the stage um, instead of a single skill yeah because once you power it up it gives you a wider range so it gives you the coverage of all three rows of coffee cubes those bubblegum icons. Okay, so is the chocolate going to be a problem? Oh, the chocolates are on different rows. Okay, uh, take a note of that. Definitely if we can move the, um, the bubblegum item down, that would be useful. Oh, how many of them are there? Oh no. Okay. Let's destroy the chocolate and set those icons to be. Oh! We accidentally activated the other one. That's fine, I suppose. Okay. So they are all chestnuts. Let's push all the chestnuts together. Um, yeah, push them all together. Come on. Okay, that wasn't the plan. That wasn't the plan at all. Okay, we've got a problem here. Yeah, we don't have enough moves because this one is another sugar cube. So even if we set it free and destroy the other cube, we don't have enough moves. <sighs> so yeah, the strategy for this level is pretty simple. As long as you can move all the bubblegum bubbles together, and use executor skill to just destroy the whole bunch together, you'll save a lot of moves. But since we are trying to cut short the video's length, let's just... Um, 
try and get a skill icon going. And of course use this to destroy the shipping cube. And clear the level. Yep. There you go. So pay attention to this level as well. Closer to unlocking the next reward. Okay, uh, pumpkins in this level. Luckily, there's only three of them. Uh, oh no! I just realized that the funnels. Oh, okay. Um. I guess. I guess let's try to handle the pumpkins first before things start going a bit chaotically out of control. Uh, if we can, push the pumpkins upwards. There we go. Oh, we've got whipped creams as well. That's, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Oh god. Okay, so if we can push um, the pumpkins up. Oh, we actually have this. Can we destroy all three? There we go. So pumpkin settled. So let's just get skill icons to handle the whipped creams and let's get some eggs as well. So yeah. Let's keep going. Do we still have whipped creams around? Oh yes we do. Alright, um, okay, so we only need to clear the wood trees and we're done. Luckily, we clear our line. Alright, a bit of a tricky level, but as long as you know what you need to do or focus on first, you should be fine. Jigglypuff is going to be level 2. Okay. So let's try getting Snubble's skill going first. Um, so we can destroy the cheese. And, um, you know, get more icons out. There we go. Okay, Charmander. Let's get some of the eggs going. Is this? Yep. I was worried that it wouldn't be um, long enough. Okay. The marker's going in. So let's make sure we drag them in. Or the canisters tree. So we do have a problem here. One of the canisters is on this side. <laughs> so we gotta drag it over. And there we go. And the tomato is in. So all we need to do is get a score. Oh, we could have ended it faster. If only I had grabbed another turn in the icon earlier. But that's okay. Go, Jigglypuff at level 2. Oh. New decorations coming in. Ooh, green lights. Oh, plus a and minor. Finally, we are able to recruit them. Okay. Bubbles are getting that friendship bonus, which is going to help with Mimikyu's advancement as well. Fantastic. this isn't a very difficult level but it does kind of require Lucario so I'm a bit worried uh oh yeah, bubbles so our main priority right now is to pop the bubbles um, you know so we can start clearing all the mess 
right so be very careful um on what you are hitting make sure you cover as much as you can oh, accidentally touch plus o instead go the cario get them there clear the caramels okay Alright, so I think we're doing pretty well. Um, let's just make sure to pop this bubble. Okay. Yeah, make sure we hit the other marshmallow as well. There we go. So all the marshmallows are cleared. Let's just go for the caramels. Okay, we missed out on one. That's fine. Um, let's just push. Yeah, the caramel within range. <laughs> and go for the score. So yeah. Um you might want to be careful with the bubbles that hold the canned fruit. Because if you pop them in a very terrible position, you might not be able to take advantage of Lucario's um, targeting areas. Um, to destroy as many things as one at one go. So yeah, Ooh, both of them are in queue. Wait, are they individual Pokemon by themselves? And and not a duo. Okay. Okay, I guess they are single, uh, individual Pokemon because their icons are individual. So that's kind of a problem. It means more work for us to recruit. I wonder what Plusle's skill is like. I mean, mining. The one we're using now is mining. Okay. Can we get a tree roll? There we go. Ooh, there's pumpkins. Okay, gotta be careful. So let's get rid of the olives first. Yeah, they're gonna end up coating our pumpkins. There we go. Now let's try to uncoat everything. The keyword is try because there's still one olive around. There we go. We can power up this and have the skill close enough to destroy the pumpkins again yeah there we go all in one hit so that was kind of a trick play but it helped us gain an additional move remaining all right plus always Nine stars to join us. Hmm. Okay. Um. I guess the popcorns are the problem first. Oop! It went pop. All right. Let's pick things up. Okay, so let's try to clear the popcorns here first. There you go. Merge the icons. Oh, I see what we have to do. Okay. There you go. A bit of a chain. Alright, so let's get our icons going. Get a skill. There we go. And that's it. Not 
too difficult of a level. Just gotta be careful of the middle area. Considering that the sides are pretty straightforward, just use the skill and destroy the kernels and get a whole bunch of vegetables at the same time. And now it's my monster. Alright. Melossum, you are up. Gotta satisfy the little hungry boy. Uh oh. Okay. Alright, let's get the skill going. Oh. Can we. Okay, we're gonna destroy one of them first. Oh, the megaphone is gonna help. Oh, fantastic. I was a bit worried right there. Okay. Alright, so let's destroy the chocolates here. So we can get more access to the things. Oh, fantastic. A bit of luck right there. So destroying those two chocolate panels is going to help greatly. right there. That's fine. Okay, now the problem is getting more whipped cream out. Alright, so all the whipped creams are out. Just got to destroy them. Maybe gather all of them together. So we can use skills to destroy. So now we just need to get a score. Hopefully there's enough icons to do that. Yes we do! Whew. We got kind of lucky there. We, on the last move we managed to clear everything. So definitely a stage to take note of as well. Oh! We're on our 10th level again. What about facts in line? Let's do this! Oh, oh they're in coffee cubes. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to... Oh no, it's locked. Kind of waste of a move. Okay, so... Start off on the right side. <laughs> Clear the caramels. Um, once that is done, I guess we can clear yeah, these to set the icons free. Alright. Okay. Let's push everything down. And set. Destroy some caramels. Okay. Oh no, we missed out on one. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we do need score though, so let's just spin things around. Okay, let's set all this free. Score, score, let's get Togepi going. Canisters here. Okay, can we? Yep. Did I miss on a single chestnut? Oh my goodness, I did. Oh no. There we go. So I just need to clear the chestnut and we're good. Whew. Okay, so there is. Um, sufficient moves given, so 
just be careful and don't mess up, you should be fine. Alright, we are done for this episode. So, um, we are still stuck on stage 7. I probably might do another video sometime soon. Because we definitely need to unlock Mimikyu. Um, and wow, we actually climbed to 7th place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah guys, um, what do you think about Q and all the Halloween dress up? Um, I think the cafe looks pretty cute, not too horrifying. And the dishes, the dishes actually look pretty good. Um, for those that are dressed in the Halloween theme, the stages we've handled, there were quite a few noticeable ones that were a bit tough. But uh, as long as you plan things well, and of course if you've got a surplus amount of acorns, you should be fine. Um, just don't go too crazy on the refreshes because the acorn refresh requirement will get a bit more expensive each time round. You don't want to drain out too much on your resources too quickly because the game has only just begun. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching through another video. If you guys did, you guys are awesome. If you enjoyed yourself, make sure you hit the like button to this video. And of course, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because more videos like this are coming your way soon. Until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!